Hey, Johnny. Do you want to go to an ice cream social? Yeah, I'd love to. Great. Let's go. It's time for another episode of Matt and Mattingly's Ice Cream Social. Sitting across from me is Paul Mattingly. Across from me, it's Mr. Matt Donnelly. And on the knobs and downs, check out the audio guy. Yep. We're, We're preaching fun. fun. Well, you joined me, Paul. Mm-hmm. Look oh, at that. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, Paul's heart grew two sizes bigger. Blurp. And exploded. And he died on stage. <laughs> just like he wanted to. We just finished up a bucket show. It was, uh, it was, a, it was, a, it was a tougher one. Well, I mean, you know, they're not all gems. And uh, it was a slower pace, That's and we thing. went more long form with the, it. F- the format for I thought it was really good. Yeah, yeah. it was solid. It was I, solid. I told Matt we had like three really good scenes and that's in yeah. any improv show good luck <laughs> like honestly i've seen enough improv i oh, know no. how it goes it was fine it's just it is hard we have we are we the, are trying to raise our own damn bar it is true and it's in and, and, and uh, we keep challenging ourselves to doing mm-hmm. improv in different environments and we want to be awesome and doing that heavy of a long form set and with the cameras on and not that much people in the studio audience yep there's not a lot of instant feedback but you know right. what the audience that was there enjoyed it yeah. So there you go. So I think it might have been better than I think it we're was. We're hard on heart. ourselves. My heart, it is, was not. We're hard on ourselves. It was not as energetic. Right. Because so, we didn't have the musical element as strong, and we didn't just you know flip into stuff. But it was still solid. Yeah. So Penn Jillette showed up yes, for, uh, was for that, the show. which was a lot of fun. He, he told a good story, and you guys did a... Which means I put a lot of pressure on myself. Right. So you did a, a scene based off of his story, or inspired yes. by his story. Yes. And uh, then he was in the audience for the rest of the show, stuck around till the end of the show. Like a gentleman. People in the chat did. Uh, kept talking about how they didn't hear him laughing. Oh, interesting. During the, during the show. I can tell you guys, uh, for, for people who were, who were listening on Twitch, who were watching the show on Twitch, uh, he was enjoying it himself. Yeah, because everybody was people were being a little critical of him. We don't mic uh, the studio audience. Mm-mm. Yeah, yes. So any anything that you do hear from the studio audience is just picking up through the guy's microphones or my microphone. Yeah, or Spadoni. Yeah, and uh, which are on stage. Penn was in the back row. Yeah, so he was just a little further back from the stage. But yeah. he and I had direct eyesight with each other the entire show. No, no, and, no. and he was uh, he was really enjoying. I himself. heard him laughing the whole time. Yeah, uh, he was great. And then uh, and I'm, I'm saying that to kind of defend him. No, no, I understand because yeah, because yeah. people were being critical of. Yeah, of he him. was laughing. Yeah, he, was he, laughing. Was, he really enjoyed himself. He um he also it was trippy for him too. And and and, and right because he was and, back in the bullshit studio. Yeah, which is kind of fun, but also like I know that feeling. Yeah. Have you ever, you ever gone to someone who lived in your old house or something like that? Oh, yeah. It's a weird thing. It's a weird thing. Yeah. And he was, you know, honestly, he's like, I'm, I'm ready for my uh, my cup of coffee and my script. <laughs> yeah. And he's right. He's right to expect that. Yeah. Uh, we'll just have to have that waiting for him next time. We'll just give him a script of something. Oh, yeah. No, that's a I'm saving private this, Ryan. That's absolutely a thing. What's yeah. that? I'm keeping this little knife. You gonna keep that one? Yeah. Here, show is it to the, show it to your for camera you or for Jacob. This is for me. No, you can you can you can keep that one. Show it Jacob to your camera right there in front full. of him. Okay, so this is a husky knife. So this, little... this is from a scoop mail, but it yeah. is a is a carabiner that That's has a Reverend Doctor Commander McScoop sent that in. Yeah, it's teeny. Yeah, you can take that one. And there's the oh, bigger there's a one. Big, big one, one, which we need to open scoop mail. <sighs> yeah, that's the that's gonna be the new scoop mail. Stay here for scoop mail opener. Yeah. And defending and defending and defending, defending the, the ch- and defending the churn defending the churn yeah uh, this if Paul does not cut his finger off I trying know, to close like, it right now oh it's, <laughs> a, it's the same thing it operates yeah. on the same principle as the other one you push it to the side <laughs> and then you close it it looks like a pterodactyl ninety nine percent of our audience is audio only Paul this is knife work with Paul just everyone listening just know that the knife looks I'm like a pterodactyl, pterodactyl with two mouths. <laughs> This one st- opens and closes. This one stays open. Ba 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 ba. This is, Paul, this is Paul's private Twitch show. Yep. It looks like a dinosaur bone head. It does look like a dinosaur bone head. So if you want to see what Paul's the doing, twitch.tv slash hey scoops. The great never, never have we gotten once more ran these I'm just going to tell you that you don't want to see what Paul's doing. Drinks though. the water. <laughs> and it feeds on the grasslands. I feel like I'm doing a podcast with a dinosaur bone head. <laughs> <laughs> They're having a love. Paul, please stop doing nothing but visual bits for 
<laughs> We're an audio show, Paul. Huh? We're an audio show. <laughs> what happened was the knives fell in love. <laughs> now everyone's caught up. Uh, so I was teaching at a kids' uh, theater camp. Oh not, yeah, we talked about this yesterday. No yeah. wait, yeah, you're talking about the, we're talking about the Broadway babies. Broadway. Are you here to teach me? Teach How old are these kids? Uh, Seventeen. Well, here's the thing: they, 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 there's young ones and older ones. The older ones, like eleven to fifteen, would be the older group. Ugh. Okay, and um, get me. And out I was of considered there. so advanced uh, that I could only work with the older group. <laughs> Honestly, oh, I I, I don't. What you're there are people that are good at teaching like the, the like improv Wonderland to young children. Oh yeah, yeah. my wife is really good at it. Like mm-hmm. she gets kids playing games stuff. I'm horrible. You're, at you're it. not on that list. No, I've done it, I'm but not really, terribly successfully. I'm a very like analytical approach. Like, so you want to do funny scenes? Right. Here's technique. Ah. Like that's where I'm best. Yeah. And so like wherever I get asked to teach, I'm always like, who's the oldest? Who's who's the oldest? Great. What's the youngest you've taught? Um, oh, I've definitely tried, yeah. like, uh, all ages. I taught, like, some four- and five-year-olds. Yeah, That yeah, was yeah. a challenge. Oof. Well, the, here's the thing. When, one of the reasons why it's a challenge is that kids play. Yeah, they already know how to they do it. They already play. So asking them to, like, use the power of their imagination is no feat. Yeah. They're already in. Like, we're good. And so the biggest – and even then, like, it's not like it's hard because they hate me or they're hard because they don't want to play. Mm-hmm. I've never experienced that. Everyone's always all in. Yep. What happens is they don't want to watch each other. Right. That's where it goes off the rails – no matter what the age group is, what happens is that people don't want to look at other people play. They just mm-hmm. want to play themselves. Yeah. Um, but I had one student in there, and she uh, was maybe, maybe 13, probably 11 or 12. Uh, you better check the state laws. Uh, I did. I Googled it right in the bathroom right away. <laughs> Um, Googled it in the bathroom. Yeah, but she was in the bathroom with you. I know. <laughs> and he was in the bathroom. Yeah. Whoa. Wait a minute. What? Mm. We were washing our hands. You got to Google before. What yeah. happened was the knives fell in love. Siri. You see what happened was. <laughs> what happened was, Siri, what is the age of consent in Nevada? <laughs> <laughs> this is... This is R. Kelly's Siri. That'd be good. If you're especially like, like uh, when your previous searches include what is the age of consent would <laughs> pop up, that'd be good. I would love to get a peek at R. Kelly's Siri. <laughs> Siri, what is the age of consent in Nevada? Oh, you're just asking for <laughs> oh, it. Oh, shit. I missed it. The cops are already coming. Siri, what is the age of consent in Nevada? <laughs> the cops are already here. Yeah. We're going to break through our, one, our, little, our little cruise ship window. Here's what I found on the web for what is the age of consent in Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, pervert. Let me direct you to dirty, dirty porn. Uh, 16. Okay. So I made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> That's my bad. You know what? It's not, it's more of a math mistake than a, than a uh, Your Honor. Than a morality. I'm sure Your everyone Honor. will understand. Your Honor, I, it's I, math. I knew the law, which means I had to find out, which means I have morals. I wanted to know right from wrong. I suck at math. <laughs> Um, no, no, no. So I have this. Uh, your Honor, you know how when uh, January rolls around and you keep writing the wrong date on your checks? <laughs> That's what happened. Of course I do. Case dismissed. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> Finally. Scoopo Steve on the chat is quick to point out that that's older than in New Jersey. That's correct. It's 15 in Jersey. Oh, boy. It's 15? No, that was the thing. It was the, the jock versus nerd. Uh, oh, that's right. I think it's 16. Con- and it's 16 in Kentucky. Yeah, Kentucky has a higher age of consent than Jersey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, that's because we trust people in Jersey. No, that's not. <laughs> that's. I don't. Who is. When that comes up, right? Like, who's the one who campaigns for younger? You know what I mean? Like, when you're trying Ooh. to figure out the laws. How do you push it? Yeah, like, who's the senator? Who's the congressman that, you know, who's the who's the state appointee that goes like, maybe 15, guys. Maybe 15. And this was like, 14. You know, like, Jerry, no. Stop arguing. <laughs> Jerry, we stop need, it. We need a, we need a junior <laughs> yeah. congress. I'd say, like, yeah, I'd be like, hey, Jerry, in the meeting, I really want 15. So can you swing the pendulum even further? Can you ask for 13? I'm going to look like an asshole. <laughs> You're going to leave me hanging out there. But I'll this do is it. for the law. I'll this is for the it. people of Jersey. I'll do it if you promise me a, a seat next it is, year. It is. All right. You got it. Great. Uh, I would like to motion that the age of consent be dropped to 12. The, I mean. 13. Oh, no. <laughs> I really I really put my foot in it. Uh, I can't give you a seat. You said 12. <laughs> 
it has to have a teen on it or else it's gross. The 15 is, is simply like any person who is <laughs> episode title. <laughs> it has to have a teen on it. It has to have a teen on it. <laughs> Always the grossest gross. thing. <laughs> Always the grossest thing. Um, it's that, that hearing just goes with like anyone who's ever had uh, anyone who remembers being a senior in high school and wanting to fuck a freshman is like, guys, 15, please. Yeah. It's the way high school works. Right. <laughs> like, the best the best senior poon is freshman poon. I had a, uh, a parent of a girlfriend call the police on me <gasps> saying that, it, that we were uh, doing it and doing it and doing it yeah, well. Yeah, like statutory, statutory uh-huh. rape and everything. Uh, I was 18 and she was 17. Yeah. Oh, uh, but there, there's something like there, there's something like when it, when you're that close, it, it doesn't it doesn't count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, it's I was called like, it's called sanity. That's what it is. Right, exactly. When the prosecutor yeah. is like, they use the, honestly like a lot of the um like uh like secretly racist things. That's usually where that goes down. Yeah, yeah. that's true. You know, mm-hmm. uh, where they like this 18 year old black guy fucked a 17 year old white girl. Right. It's time to go to court. Yes. And by court, we mean. Backyard. Jail court. There are several. There are several states, uh, including Indiana, that yeah. uh, if you're 18, it's illegal to have sex with anyone under 18. Even if everyone's underage, you just can't. You can't do it. If no, you're if you're 18, 18 and, oh, okay. and she is, and your and your partner is 17, that's illegal. So like, there's like a Jump Street program that just arrests high school students. Exactly. Constantly. <laughs> they arrest them on their birthdays. That's so strange because then you're like, you could be like, so we could both be 17. It's my birthday tomorrow. Yeah. It's like our last night of fucking. Exactly. Until wow. your birthday. Until, until, until your the birthday. other birthday. And then what a birthday. Whoa. We waited. Was it worth it? Did it feel different? No. It, it was our first it. time as adults. Felt the same. I shouldn't have waited. <laughs> that was a mistake. It felt flabbier and more desperate. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> New episode title. It felt <laughs> flabbier <laughs> and more desperate. <laughs> Guys, I just discovered that this carabiner has a second mouth. Oh, my oh, God. Rah, 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 I'm going to take this away from you. <laughs> what happened was the knives fell in love. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, I, oh, uh, quickly, I'm not telling a story about fucking a 13 year old. So um, <laughs> yet, yes. I mean, if the listeners demand. <laughs> Yes, Paul. Uh, go on. Are you gonna groan your way through the podcast? Yes, this is the only way I can. I'm honestly just so upset about the political situation right now. Right I'm now, really upset. This moment, I, I I should not have looked at my Twitter or my Facebook b- between the bucket show and this. Oh uh, no! What what caught your eye? That is the face full of shit. <laughs> Same old crap. Yeah, yeah. You know. I was seeing stuff pop up during the bucket it's show. It's just getting overwhelming. Yeah, yeah. What was is shit going down? I mean, no, it's, not nothing big. It's kind of it's kind of the uh, you know, we've all had a minute to breathe after the healthcare thing. Yeah. Right. And so everybody's like But remember, we're all dead. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They phrased it differently. Yeah, but not yeah. much differently. Yeah. Just the dismantling of our government as we know it. I like that. I like that Shepard Smith uh, is uh, is battling Sean Hannity. I am loving him stepping up to the plate. Kudos to Shep because Shep is is a is a right leaning person. Yeah, at least uh, uh, sure. um, policy wise, comparatively, yeah, yeah. And so it's like it's just it, he's right. It's not about Republicans versus Democrats. It's that we're getting fucking lied to all the time, right? In obnoxious ways, mm-hmm. in like rub your nose in it ways, not like regular political lie. Like get back to some old fashioned double talk. Sure. Political speak. Don't S- don't stand at a lectern and just <laughs> and lie just, to just everyone. Just lie where you're like, ah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ah. It's, it's that's there. You go. You 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 hit it. There. Yeah. You, it took it took you another minute, I just, but you hit my level. I just. And it's, ah, yeah, that was all, I that's all there's left. I just wanted to see if OJ got parole. I know that was possible. Oh, was that not happening yet. today? Not yet. It's not, not done yet. yet. It's not done yet. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's the hearing's happening. It's happening today. Oh well, we're close to some strip clubs where he might show up. There we go. Big party. Boom. Oh I hope he doesn't bring his armed friends to kick a door down. Guys. Uh, <laughs> we have carabiner knives. I'd like for to him. just say real quick, uh, Starburst, if you're listening, get your PR people on this right now. Yeah. Because if you remember the ad campaign of the 90s, it is high time that you reinvigorate the juice is loose. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, 
looking at Paul's face as he said that, he is so smug. He is so pleased with himself that he just said that. That is the worst. We're two podcasts. That's the worst. Meanwhile, OJ could make a mint and Starburst could also rise, make a mint. From, the, rise <laughs> from the grave. Starbucks could also, Star, Starburst could also, put could out also a mint. make a mint. Yeah. They could also make mint. They would make mint. Oh, uh, Starburst mint. How, just fucking, just, I still take it over yellow. You know what? Right. Ah. But just, just, why don't you just fucking Starburst basil? Just fuck it. <laughs> Oh, that'd be nice. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. Get out of here. You no, can, no, no, no. Fuck just, you, fuck no. you, fuck you, fuck you. These people are full of shit. This is the, the, the green tea that I like. Or the tea that I like. The pure leaf. They put on their on their Facebook page. They're like, hey, you enjoy pure leaf tea? How about you do this? You take our green pure leaf tea, which yeah. is like nice clear green. You, yeah. you pour that into some freezer pop molds. Add a little bit of... Uh, add a little bit of uh, uh, strawberry mix yeah. and basil. I'm like, who are you? <laughs> who puts basil in a popsicle? Apparently, the f- morons at leaf, pure leaf. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> they need to pure leaf popsicles uh, alone. You, you jumped is... over the headline there. Matt, how many uh, foods or drinks that you consume do you follow on Facebook? <laughs> I don't follow it. <laughs> It showed up in my feed because my phone listens to me talk about the tea I drink. That's what happened. There's a there's a bigger question here. I mean, Omnitron I don't went. Need, oh, he drinks pure leaf tea. Send him pure leaf message of popsicle fictions. I don't even uh, drink pure leaf tea, but I'm on that Facebook page all day long. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I mean, look, lately... Name a better place to go for popsicle recipes. I dare you. <laughs> I dare you. I d- lately, they have been on point with their political coverage. <laughs> <laughs> what? The world is fucked. Make popsicles. <laughs> Pure leaf tea. Drink some more tea to try and calm your goddamn nerves <laughs> as you jitter and shake your way to death. <laughs> over I'm this thinking nightmare Star- hellscape that we have created. Starburst should put out a mojito version, right? So okay. you can have like a basil... Uh, 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 starburst. Mm-hmm. You can have a mint starburst, and you can have like a rum starburst. And then you can mm-hmm. if you eat all three. You're eating a mojito. I all think recipes. dot com has a popsicle section. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it's that time of year. I think there is one like that, a recipe like that for Jelly Belly. There's a mojito Jelly oh. Belly. I think. Okay. I think there's Jelly one. Belly does a lot of weird flavors. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. When yeah. you, well, but Jelly Belly make a fucking anything in the motherfucking. It's place. strange. They don't give a fuck. It's strange what you can mix and match and get really weird flavors out of. And okay. And do they advise that or they're like, what the fuck are you doing? They don't care, man. They, they, they got the recipes on their screen. So I'm teaching at the Broadway camp. Broadway, <laughs> baby. Look at me shine, mama. Look at me shine. <laughs> oh, mama, I'm here for you. I love you. I do it for love. Love. This girl cannot stop talking about how she is a bisexual and lesbian. Oh. How old? 12. Wait, bisexual and lesbian? If, it's, if she's bisexual, she's like, I'm bisexual. If you said lesbian, she's like, I'm a lesbian. If someone said something that almost sounded gay, she'd be like, that almost sounded gay like me. I'm gay. Like, could not stop saying, huh. She could not stop talking about her her more adventurous sexuality. Meanwhile. At 12. Exactly. Meanwhile, right, right. there was an older someone in the class whose gender I could not identify. Okay. Oh, who was just glaring at her. Yeah. just She's just hanging. Like, and she just was like, Sh- over there. Shut like, up. And this thing is like, so this is the hard part. This is kind of what where I guess like the college professor thing is weird. Like, yeah, there are people that are going through uh, issues that need to be dealt with and respected. Sure. And there are people who just want a fucking shitload of attention <laughs> For saying the word <laughs> lesbian. Yeah. Right? A 12-year-old sure does. Right. And the thing is that, like, I... I actually, and I think it. this person might be... You know, it's, it's... it's I believe this person will grow up as they become a sexual person. I think they'll fuck anything that moves. I think it'll be guys. <laughs> Fair enough. Girls. <laughs> yeah. I think this girl's going to just... Congratulations. I think it's like... I was like, look, regardless, you are definitely going to slut it up. You've got the goods. <laughs> you are going to make a great, uh, immoral uh, sexual immoral. person. Immoral. Not immoral. What slut? What would be like a? You are going to. You're going to taste the panoply of human sexual <laughs> uh, flavors. You there might, you go. There you, you might go. need penicillin at a younger age <laughs> than the average person. That's safe, right? You gonna get the herp? Yeah. 
Herpa derp. Well, but whatever. Like it's that's weird though. Here's what's weird. I don't give a shit, right? No, who cares, you, right? So we're all like, I don't care. And then honestly, you keep baiting this to make, but she 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 wanted to be a conversation, right? Right. Sure, sure. And I just didn't even want to. I didn't even like, want to. Oh, st- gay at twelve? Interesting. Yeah, you're, you're fascinating. Yeah, exactly. Or like, good for you. Lots of people are yeah. gay at born. Or like, excuse me, don't like, don't you dare all at of Jason Bourne. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean. It's hard to not be. Yeah. yeah. If you're in the theater alone <laughs> with a popcorn bucket. Mm. And a popsicle with some basil. It's more like that's the, going rear entry. It's right more there. like the horn hot identity. Hot butter popcorn on the front. Cold popsicle up the rear. <laughs> oh. Oh, I just lost it. We gotta come up with a term for that. <laughs> you're fucking hot butter popcorn. Let's go. Let's go, Twitch uh, chat. That's Let's the go. Ho- that's the horn identity. Let's <laughs> <laughs> Jason Horn. The horn identity. <laughs> you guys do not, you guys do a horn identity? <laughs> What's that? You fuck a hot bucket of popcorn <laughs> in the front, cold popsicle up the rear. And then you basil can, preferred. And then if, <laughs> you, if you original can, recipe is with a basil popsicle. If you can walk the line of the master <laughs> Somebody, you walk up to the counter with that popsicle up your ass <laughs> and the bucket of popcorn on your dick. Doc, and scoop. you ask for more hot butter right on your dick. <laughs> You walk behind the this, counter. Listen, I'm a very open sexual person, but this thing takes a while. There's a lot of steps. <laughs> you there's walk, a lot of directions. You walk right behind the like, counter with that popcorn bucket on your dick, <laughs> and you have them squirt butter on your more more of your popcorn dick. Oh, that would hurt, I think. It was too hot. <laughs> it's, it's pretty hot when they put it on there, right? I guess. It's melted butter. I, it's not real butter. I don't Exactly. What Whatever the oil, the oil dispenser that is Juice. the butter, quote, unquote, butter. Uh, if anyone, it got in your hole, things anyone would get rough. Anyone who stuck their genitalia underneath hot popcorn butter, <laughs> right in. <Go> on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you need me for something? What's up? <laughs> Japan says it's called an Orville Redencocker. <laughs> That's I like good. that. I like that. Oh, red red cocker is good. <laughs> that doesn't. Really that good. doesn't get the uh, the popsicle in there though. We need. No, we need no. something with that with the popsicle. Yeah. Well, the Orville red and cocker is pouring. Golden hot. cocker. An Orville golden cocker. Orville golden cocker. cocker. Okay. Yeah. I like it. There we go. Um, all right, guys, we did it. <laughs> meeting, Success. Meeting adjourned. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys in a week. <laughs> oh, well, with popsicles up our butts. Yeah, but uh, you have to go. You have to go those. those you, have to, <laughs> you have to go those wide sickles. Yeah, not those bomb pops. Right, that's too easy. Um, you know those kind of can break in half, but don't break them. Like, Check it back a little bit, like. <laughs> <laughs> And I, we don't know if that's the butter side or the popsicle side. Who knows? Um, <laughs> as, uh, Doc Time Scoop says, "Rub dudes ragged." <laughs> I should have just said that. Yeah. I should have said, uh, "Gay, get the fuck out of my class." Oh no! <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> goat sickles. Ooh, I like that. What is it? Goat sickles. Goat sickles. Goatsy. Goat sickles. Goat sickles. Yeah, goat sickles. Oh man, it works. <laughs> Anyhow, so yeah, it was just it was just annoying. Pull my scrotum out. I I I did that. I did I did I I said I was from puppetry of the penis though, so it was all good. Yeah. (laughs) Um, I'm a professional. I can pull my wang out. (laughs) <laughs> and, and, and I've run into other teachers who are, because all of our friends are all teaching at these different theater camps sure. right now. This is hot, hot theater. That hot theater camp dough is this coming. A, this is a really good down, time to be taking theater camps. Down, yeah. Are they all, <laughs> are they all teaching this same girl? <laughs> I actually did have a kid that was in both camps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, your parents hate you. Literally, <laughs> literally and figuratively in both camps. <laughs> your parents do not want you at the house. <laughs> <laughs> do your parents not want you home. Yeah. Like, do you, have you figured out how to wipe your feet properly? Like, what's going on? <laughs> Yeah, is that yourself. where the problem is? Yeah, teach yourself it's a messy oh, carpet. Just, get the fuck get out, out of here. here. Yeah. Just, go. That's not going to solve that, though. <laughs> Keeping them out of the house longer is going to get them messier. <laughs> it's just messing up Keep them shoes. in the house. Like if, if, you, if your problem is you fuck up a carpet, you take their <laughs> shoes off and you p- put them, lock them in their room. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't have any fucking kids. Yeah. <laughs> no thanks. If you did, which camp would you send them to in the summertime? <laughs> I was gonna say something horrible. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs>
<laughs> Whatever it was, you decided not to say something say, horrible? I was going to say, yeah. Paul Manley showed restraint. <laughs> that it was horrible. We were, we, were, we were sniffing airplane seats. We all does, we all need to tell Paul thank you. Because two, if he stopped two, himself. Two weeks ago, we had Quado coming out of the vagina and punching dicks. <laughs> Free Mars. But involved children. Free Mars. It was Quaid. sacred. It was no, sacred. it wasn't about the children. It was about other things. Uh, no, I just, you know, I, I would not. I, if I. I would send my kids to. I oh, I'd send my kids to computer camp. Computer camp. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do they still have it? Is it still just? I mean, of course, they still have some version of it, but mm-hmm. it's still just called blatantly computer camp. I, imagine. I would think so. I'm sure they're right now. There's like, there's still probably astronaut camp. Sure. Which, by the way, how many, how often do they hire those? And then uh, <laughs> it's where all the greats come from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might as well have like lottery winner camp. Um, uh, you still have <laughs> video <laughs> games. <laughs> It's not about being an astronaut. It's about pretending to be and learning about space. It's not like you have a chance. No, like, but it's about as it's probably as good a chance as Broadway camp, pal. <laughs> that sounded exactly who, like Paul Stanley defending astronaut who's camp. Who's zooming who? <laughs> you don't go to camp to come an astronaut. When you come to camp, what we're gonna do is we're gonna train you. How to be an astronaut. How to make space hey, alcohol. I'm the star child. What's up? <laughs> I heard you like rockets. I heard a lot of people out here enjoy hard fuel. <laughs> I uh, heard a lot of people out here really did love you make it. Make a when solid fuel reference. Solid fuel. I like. I heard people like it when the we have. Rocket separation. Yeah. And yeah. Stage four. Splashdown. Splashdown. The pants are wet. Woo. <laughs> Paul Stanley's School of Hard Drugs Camp says, uh, I can't read anyone's names. <laughs> Arctium. Yeah, that. Arctium. A-R-C-T-I-U-M. Arctitrium. Arc to Triumph. Sure. It's the French landmark on our Twitch page. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How exciting. How exciting. The Arc de Triomphe. <laughs> welcome. That is only the second landmark that has been on our page. We welcome oh, yeah. our liberators to the Arc de Triomphe. Uh, oh. Um, <laughs> Pardon. So, anyways, to, to show up the student, I just pulled the nearest guy and started making out with No. <laughs> <laughs> and when I finished, I said, in character. <laughs> Uh, show them acting as well. He said, guys, this is what it takes to be on Broadway. Listen, learn. <laughs> that's, that's more true than anything else I'm learning. <laughs> oh, here's the other thing. Is, and, and I get this. It's, it's the Vegas thing. So I, I get it. It's interesting. So like one, the person who was teaching before me or finishing up was like, kept referring to like, oh, when I was in Peep Show, when I was in Peep Show, when I did this in Peep Show. Oh, right? I know who's teaching before you. Right. And yeah. so, which is fine. Sure. I, mean, I get I'm uh, whatever. But I'm almost just like, I'm just curious, like. If anyone looks up what Peep Show is, it was a, it was a topless show, which is fine. But like I don't like it's. I'm on the fence. I should say it's not fine to me. Well, they're teaching. They're I'm teaching. Up, five, I'm, they're I'm up the, two minds. They're saying that the five year olds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, all the kids are there, and 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 Peep Show is a Broadway experience. Now it is. It's I a Broadway te- contract. I hate to tell you, Matt. Yeah, we are of a different time already. Oh, those kids already know. Everything. This is the thing. Yeah. Like the internet. Yeah. Please. But you think how much any of, it, of those kids will ever be turned on by pornography by the time they reach fifteen? Oh, that's true. That's a, wait, shit. Oh, damn it. We were talking about something. Uh, we were talking about something on Sunday school. No, last episode. Oh, where I was going to compare it to that because it was like we're the ones who think it's crazy because right. we're the first generation with mm-hmm. it. But but this porn thing is definitely that. It's already changed. Oh, like yeah. I remember my friend showing me porn on a phone one time, and I was like. You're crazy. Yeah. And now I'm how like, how dare you have that? On and now I'm phone. like, how can you live without that? I know. <laughs> <laughs> of course, porn on a phone. Get out my laptop. Go. Yeah. <laughs> the effort. <That's> gross. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> gross. <laughs> what I need is, I'm what gonna, I need is a helmet that can hold my iPhone. In front of, I need those VR. I goggles. have it. I have that. <laughs> I have one of those. Do you? Have you done that? No. Oh, yes. you should try it. It seems like it'd be easy. Uh, easy peasy. Yeah. Lots of websites have those 
things all made for the two little goggle things. You got the Google Cardboard. Yeah, believe really? it or not, a lot of companies realize that people like to watch porn. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm. Yeah, pornography. Walk, walk yep. me through this. Okay, well, you see, when a daddy company and a mommy company <laughs> love each other very much. Okay. Yep, there's a merger. Yeah. And they get porn. What happened was the knives fell in love. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. But, yeah, it's already it just for me, my own level of comfort with yeah. all this shit yeah. is beyond where I ever thought it would be. Yeah, I guess I mean like, like who cares? So right. on the one hand It's ubiquitous. On the one hand if you, whatever, you do a show where you got topless, big big fucking deal. Sure. And that, that show was a great contract. It was a big show. Big theater. Uh, famous names. Famous names. Oh yeah. Uh, good gig. Mm-hmm. Big Broadway directors. Lots of advertising. Tony Award winners. Well Multiple known. Tony Award winners. Mm-hmm. And then also, like, on the other hand, just telling kids, like, yeah, I was in the show where I took my top off all the time. You yeah. could do it, too. Check it out is a little more like, I don't know. Right. right. But maybe I'm just being a, a, a prude, a prude, a prude, a prude puckering pussy, <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let it go. Because I'm not doing it from. <laughs> I, <laughs> that's what keep me up nights. I don't have daughters, but God. Ah! <laughs> No, you know what's funny? Is I don't have daughters, but I still can't I still sleep like, oh my for God. those angel babies. My imaginary the daughters. Future. Oh, those! Oh no! Shit! But you actually are. <laughs> you actually are a hundred percent with the AC. Just come on. That was the sound of uh, Paul dropping something. I didn't drop shit. Air conditioning. Oh, there's air on the floor. There's air on the floor. Hair on the floor. Uh, okay. Uh, don't drop stuff on it. Ah, clearly, we got to mm-hmm. run a vacuum up in here. Yeah, we do need to do a vacuum. <laughs> you, you are. Uh, Right. You are the sunshine of my life. If someone from Magic Mike came and talked to my kids, yeah, I wouldn't care. So you're right. I'm only concerned in an imaginary prudish way. Sure. So I am. I'm sympathizing from like I'm a teacher. I should be thinking in proper teacher terms. But that, but that is changing. No, that's what I mean. Is that like, exactly like in in? The, I just hit my own camera. Jacob, how's my shot? Oh my god. Oh, I don't. Know. I Am look? I still there? Are oh we still God. there? Are we I'm still really online? Yeah, did we fine. knock ourselves offline? Oh, Jesus, I do not want to look bad. Oh, on how did we not knock ourselves offline? I actually, rotate it a little bit. Rotate it to your right a little bit. There you go. Right there. Stop. Too much? Nope. Good. Okay. Um. So I. Uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm. I'm being a prude bitch. Okay. I think it's just things are just changing so hard. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And you. Playing with that toy in front of me is changing me so hard. <laughs> it should be. <laughs> here, here. All right. Should we get into some scoop mail? Oh, yeah. We could do that. Let's listen to some less prude people uh, talk to us. Uh, let's see. We got one here from the Micro Scoop, which I started to read yesterday. And so uh, today, the Micro Scoop is probably upset that they heard their <laughs> we name never, we never on, got the, uh, on the podcast yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> because all I said was, I got one here from the Micro Scoop. And then we just went on and on. Yep. That's We're weird. Dicks. That doesn't sound like us. <laughs> no, I know. That was on someone else's show that Ice happened. Cream Social? Yeah. This one? Um, yeah. Different show, maybe. When I was going to college, I worked for a chain of restaurants. Uh, we will call them Emerald Wednesdays. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the worst thing about that joke is I know that I get it, and I know that there's a restaurant that's called something like that. Oh, but you don't, oh, know, you don't I know. know. I can't it. think of what the restaurant is. Do you want me, to, oh, you want me to tell you? I, 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 I don't guess it, it rhymes with Booby Blues Days. <laughs> That's <laughs> what it is. That's <laughs> what it is. Booby <laughs> Blues Days. I was like, I know there's a restaurant. There's a color. And there's, there's a color. Goodbye, like yeah. Blueby Boobs <laughs> Days. You used to star in the show. Uh, what's it called? Pin Up? Bo, Bo Peep? That was, a, that, was a, that was another what was show. It called? What was Peep it called? Show. Peep Show. Oh. When you, you flashed your, shows, so hard. you yeah. flashed your booby plubes there. <laughs> Pinup was a different show in town. I know that used uh, almost exactly the same uh, advertising uh, photographs that Peep Show used. Yeah, yeah. the the women in, in Pinup like they posed exactly. Yeah, the they, same they, way. they did the exact same pose at the Peep Show. Well, uh, how advertising did how whatever dare works, they? right? Yeah, I mean Peep Show was closed by then. This yeah. is how. Broadway works. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Does that poster work? I'll do it too. I'll do it too. Here comes me in Broadway. There was a show that lasted five years. Let's copy some of what they did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's keep talking about this instead of reading his email again. <laughs> yeah. I'm working on it, guys. I had a plan. 
what had happened was the knives fell in love. Oh, <laughs> thanks, microscope. <laughs> Oh, let's see. When I was going to college, I worked for a chain of restaurants we will call Emerald Wednesdays. Blue be Quit blue. Tapping, on that, tapping that thing in front of your microphone, Paul. <laughs> Paul's such a five-year-old right now. I'm tired. Well, one night, one of the regulars uh, came in 15 minutes before close. Everyone hated her. She took every opportunity to make someone else feel worthless and beneath What? Her. She told the waiter that uh, greater her that she wanted to move to another section that had already been cleaned. Um, maybe greeted, okay, so greeted could, her. Maybe greeted her? <laughs> yeah. Tell the waiter that graded her. I don't, no, it greater her. It I, I greeted her. A greater yeah, version greater. of herself. Told the, 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 so the waiter that greeted her, he said, yes. I want to go to the place to be in a different where they closed down and nobody's the there. Place, yeah. I uh, want to be in a booth with no french fries under the seat. And she wanted a different waiter. Oh, Oh, uh, come to find out uh, later, she was a racist and didn't want black servers to wait on her. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, news gets back to the kitchen that the hag is here. Um, I find it hard to believe that racists wait, so go and dine is, at Blue. Wait, this is, someone, this is someone who comes all the time? Apparently, yeah. Ugh, and she makes a point to come late and just fuck with people? It's the old regular racist. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, we sure need your $15 for our onion soup, you ass. <laughs> I know. Uh if, if this is a racist who doesn't want uh, people who are not white touching her food, uh, she better never look into a kitchen. <laughs> like, just for your own happiness. She's stupid. This is going to shock you, Jacob, but usually racist people don't necessarily think it through. No. <laughs> Wait, what? No. What now? It's not, it's they sometimes not, have a hard time just kind of figuring it all out. Not yeah. coming from a well-thought-out plan idea. the viral uh, video of the guy with dreadlocks at the KKK rally? <laughs> no. It was, uh, it was on Twitter. This, is, this person was in a KKK rally with dreadlocks. Yeah. Like, no no irony. Like, straight yeah, up he racist. Was, like, yeah. I saw one yeah. where a guy was wearing FUBU shoes. <laughs> <laughs> carrying, carrying, a, carrying a rebel flag yeah. and wearing awesome. FUBU <laughs> shoes. And he just couldn't. The guy was like, do you understand what those shoes are about, right? He's like, I, I, I know he's what like, this flag's about. Actually, you're wrong on both accounts. He's like, no, it's, it's a black entrepreneur yeah. for us, by us. Made by black people for black people. Uh, uh, this, this colors don't run. Yeah, exactly, exactly. This is like, oh, yeah. Also, you don't know what that flag means. No, yeah, right. You don't dreadlocks. know what any of it means. The dreadlocks yeah. was like, buddy. <laughs> yeah, guy, <laughs> yeah. friend. <laughs> come, come over here. I, I, let me explain some stuff let's, to you. Let's let's hug it out. Yeah. Wherever you first saw those. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. So she was uh, racist, didn't want black servers to wait on her. Anyway, uh, news got back to the kitchen that the hag is here, and she is treating everyone like shit as usual. Oh, uh, here comes some spitty food uh, with maybe. wieners wiped on the mayonnaise. Well, let's just say the guy at the grill had had enough of this woman. When he received her order for a grilled chicken meal, he took his revenge. I want to know if, if they put her in a different section. Did they, did the she, whites only section. Did it, <laughs> I'm sure they. I'm sure they accommodated us. You think Emerald Wednesdays, Wednesdays has a whites only section? <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> it's called Emerald Wednesdays. <laughs> it's called. It's called, it's called the restaurant. Of their location. Yeah, it's called the whole restaurant. <laughs> Uh, oh, let's see. So uh, he took his revenge. He stomped. He stomped on the chicken. On the chicken. On the nasty chicken floor. Oh! On the chicken, kitchen floor. <laughs> on the chicken floor. And sp- oh, it's a chicken floor now. <laughs> <laughs> the floor's got salmonella. Uh, spit the biggest loogie I've ever seen on it, and then placed it on the grill. I'm actually nauseous right now. Uh, once cooked, he let it cool for a second, and then rubbed it on his taint. <laughs> I'm back in. Taint rub chicken. I'm, I'm, I'm going to that location. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, uh, yeah, suddenly I hate black people. Can I have a chicken sandwich, please? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you want the special. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can just say the special. We've stopped having the racist stuff. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. okay. Oh, good. Because I'm, I'm friends with black guys. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I've of got course. black friends. I've got black friends. Nobody <laughs> knew taint rub chicken tasted so good. <laughs> Somebody had to try it. Just happened to be a racist old bitch. Gives it that tangy zest. Yeah. Oh, man. I was really practicing. I was ready to pass any racist test, but I guess <laughs> there, I don't need it. What A chicken sandwich just isn't a chicken sandwich without that nest zest. <laughs> nest zest. Mm, nest zest. Nest. 
Uh, he put the chicken on the plate, and away it went. I had never seen anything like it. Maybe I should have just done something, but you know what? I just thought, fuck her if she's going to treat people like that. Uh, from what we heard, she enjoyed the meal. Fucking you in the face, the micro scoop. Of course she did. Yeah. What would be great is if it was like a miracle. Like she ate it, and she's like, you know what? I've been really intolerant of other cultures. And you'd be like, oh, my gosh. How awful would you feel then? Yeah, you'd be like, oh, no. <laughs> Doesn't work that way, though. <laughs> sure, no. Only love can drive out hate. <laughs> or left like a $100 tip a hate on meal, her $15 a meal. A hate meal can't that's, drive out that's hate. The real, that's oh. the real hard bargain, right? Yeah. Because yeah. you want to be like, fuck that race. But if <laughs> the but amount you of jobs tip. I've had where if it was someone I disagree with completely on all accounts, but they always left 100 bucks, Right. Oh, that's a tough one. I that's wish it was That's the world. I know. That's why we're where we at. <laughs> <laughs> That's why things are the way they are. Yeah. The construct of money. Yeah. And the, the need to not die. Ugh. Let's preach. <laughs> okay. Preach. No, I'm done. Wait a t- I'm sad. <laughs> I'm sad. Paul's down again. I'm sad. <laughs> we had him up. Now he's down. Well, he's stopped me playing with my love making knives. <laughs> <laughs> All I want to do is make lives love each other. <laughs> Uh, we got one from Scoopalama Ding Dong. Ding Dog. Scoopalama Ding Dog? Okay, sure. <laughs> it should be Dong. Uh, no. Scoopalama Ding Dog. Make it Dong. <laughs> <laughs> Scoopalama. Uh, uh, hey, fuckers. Yes. I want to give Paul some props huh? for understanding Whoa. the whole slash thing from the Love and Radio Lord of the Rings episode. Look at you go. Uh, I don't I don't mess with Lord of the Rings or any fan fiction, but I do a lot of online role playing that helps me do the things that I typically can't cope with in real life. There you go. I was also a victim of sexual abuse at a young age, and uh, uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to apologize for all of the stuff we were talking about earlier. Then well, we're not <laughs> we're not advocating it. No, no. The only thing what made it a joke is that it's horrible. Yeah. yeah. Um. I hope. Yes. I, I hope that. <laughs> I hope that none of what we joked about earlier. Was taking it the wrong way. Is encouraging anyone no. to do anything. <laughs> also, like, why is Paul getting all the credit on this? I mean, I'm sorry you were abused. But, like, why uh, don't I get credit for something? Let's see. Um, let's maybe see. you do. Let's I see. didn't cut off there. Let's see if I get any more credit. Uh, let's I mean, see. I brought it up. You know, I was the one who made it a thing to talk about on the show. You did. It's been difficult for me to engage in relationships as I uh, don't like being touched and I have severe trust issues. Wow. When I found online role playing, it was the first time in my life I felt like I was free. Uh, free to explore, free to enjoy, free to experience things I would never be able to do in real life. I can act normal, quote unquote, in social situations and not freeze. And I can have my character act as I've always wanted to act since there is no longer a crippling fear. That is, uh, I mean, the result right, is fascinating. Yeah. I'm so sorry, obviously, for the past. Sure. But what a, what a, what a, like... I don't it's, know. Like it's, that, that, that it's a one life, of the a life, a, a tragic life like that without that discovery versus with that discovery. What what a what a fascinating and, and fortunate discovery. That's all right. I'm saying. Well, like, it's also what, one of those things that technology has allowed us. That's what I mean. Like, it's, we, it's, we we couldn't have had this 20 years ago. Either. Right. 20 years ago, what would have this, what would this have been, Paul? Uh, I mean, there'd be some Dungeons online and stuff. There'd be Dungeons and Dragons. No, there'd be some online. Well, uh, stuff. Sorry, more than 20 years ago. Yeah, like like 21 years ago. Yeah. yeah. I mean, theater. Okay. That's part of it. Yeah. I mean, we all get into the arts for different reasons, but I mean... Well, maybe keep, writing. Keep, maybe writing. Keep, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, writing. Um, I mean, a lot of stuff. I mean, a lot of stuff. Uh, when you experience really hard things like that, you know, it can go a lot of ways, but oftentimes it forces you to get very introspective. Because it's a why me situation for a minute there, and you got to really look at things until you figure out, oh, why me? Just fucking bad luck bullshit. Eventually, yeah. you figure that out. But right. at the same time, during that exploration, learning, you learn, re- you get, you have to really get in touch with who you are and salvage the pieces that are still there, that are still you, that you know that you truly identify with. This is an incredibly difficult process. I can't. And also, like the the mm-hmm. the the discovery of that moment. I'm trying to focus on the positives mm-hmm. here, right? Which is that, like the in, I bet that the intensity of that orgasm is like nothing you and I have felt. I'm sure it's great. Do you know what I mean? To, to have release that like when all of a sudden you find that you have 
you become this other person, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden you have. Oh this, right! Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Sure. Okay, that's like interesting. You're walking yeah. around on this like you know mm-hmm. this this the, you know the 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 the, the horror zone with it. all these thoughts and everything yeah. in your head going on. And all the time. you just want that to go away. Sure. So you find this out that where it does. Yeah. It all goes away. Oh, that's that's a neat. Way. Yeah, you're I someone else. About that. And the first time you find someone else who wants to chat with you like that. Right. There's a great, uh, uh, un- unrelated to the to to abuse. There's a great Black Mirror uh, episode. Okay. That like stuck with me from last season, uh, and it is uh, it is it's uh, uh, spoiler uh, spoiler alert. Yeah, because I, I needed to get through the topic. You watch the episode, you don't know what's going on, but somehow like these people keep changing locations, but they're trying to hook up with each other, and it's kind of like two girls are falling in love. Okay. And it turns out that there is this um, uh, outlet that's basically like a totally advanced internet where while you're living, you can spend only three hours in this plane where you get to choose where you are and what you're doing. Okay. And how, what you look like and what you're dressed as and all that other stuff. And what age you are, the whole bit. And when you die... You can live there forever. You can be in this. Your your existence stays trapped in this internet program. Mm. And so it turns out that when you're watching these these ladies fall in love, that in real life they're going through their selection process. One is one is about to die in real life and doesn't want to live forever in the in mm-hmm. the in the thing because of whatever reasons. And the other person is like a term is a, a terminally ill and disabled person who can't actually speak in real life. Um, oh. You know, so all of a sudden, this in- the, their love story becomes so much more intense. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then like it just and, and you feel it in the episode. It's a brilliant episode, and this episode like haunted me mm. uh, after I saw it for, for 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 weeks. But that's you know we're not that far off. A lot of a lot of spoiler over. I don't know how to how do you end a spoiler? Over? No, yeah, that's good. yeah, that's good. <laughs> Alert <laughs> done. A lot of people, a lot of people with disabilities. Uh, not you know not just physical. Yeah, but emotional disability. You know, any Thing. You, you, there's, there's, uh, the technology has allowed a certain freedom and a certain level of connectivity that was never possible. Oh, I mean, I'm sure all of us on some level have experienced this in, in, a, in a small way. Mm-hmm. You know, well, I, I mean, mean, I pretended to be a space alien for 10 years. I know what it's like <laughs> to live like someone else. I mean, really, I mean, 12 hours a day. Did you ever fuck hats off as a Klingon? What? <laughs> fuck who? Did you ever, you know... Knock boots as a Klingon. Did I you didn't. Ever, you ever bump uglies as I a Klingon? Didn't, and I didn't, and I regret that sort of. But, but Voha, sort of. I wouldn't regret anything else. I regret it. But Voha, <laughs> Voha wouldn't do that. Voha wouldn't do that. Yeah, that's where you and I, you are, you are an artist, my friend, and I'm an actor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he was, he was a sad guy. He was a sad guy. Yeah, tell me about it. I'm listening to him. No, Vo- no Vo- <laughs> had a lot. We had a lot of beef. The whole character. Did you find that women were attracted to you dressed as oh, a Oh yeah. Oh yeah. People people loved Voha. Yeah, it was great. It was awesome. They're like, oh, the singing Klingon. Here he comes. Yay! And they loved it. Okay. It was awesome. Yeah. And you know, my shapely booty worked well in those tight fitting pants. <laughs> my shapely booty. Even though I was a heavy dude. Yeah. The rest of it. Covered up oh, and compensated. Don't in a get lot me wrong. Places. Secrets out on that. Paul Mattingly's snack pack and ass is to be admired. It's true. If and, not uh, consumed. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I'm, <laughs> nom, 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 I'm a regular get walking, a basic talking, popsicles walking, nom, nom, walking, nom, nom, walking, nom, talking nom, pudding nom. cups over here. <laughs> but uh, it was great. Go ahead. Continue the email, please. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we have. Uh, I learned from my characters as they're just representations of what I want to be. I strive to be more like them, and it helps a lot. It has also helped me sexually, as a lot of people you meet online have similar trust and physicality issues. The internet is a nice barrier to get to know someone and talk and, in a way, see how they act. Wow. The barrier word there, that is perfectly put. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because interacting with someone in a restrained environment in an environment that forces you forces you into to uh restraints in a, in a way is a, a really neat way to get to know someone in ways that you wouldn't get to know them if you were just you know sitting in a room with someone i'll tell yeah. you two weird hard experiences as a klingon one i was talking with a guy and this happened a couple times i talked with like hardcore army type or very oh, gung ho military. Right, 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 okay, right. Voha loved it. Right. So your character and, and we're talking. We're just talking. Military. Yeah, let's do it. Let's you know. Yeah. Because I was hardcore pro military. Yeah. 
Voha stole weapons during the peace accords with the Federation in what? preparation for combat with them. Because he, I do I breaking did, news. Still did not trust Spoiler. the Federation. <laughs> Spoiler alerts back. Voha did not trust the Federation, uh, but uh, all that kind of stuff. So, but then when I when I'd see these people at other gatherings occasionally, they'd come again. If I was out of ca- costume. There's no talking to these people. No. Paul, Paul's not talking to these people. <laughs> and they don't want to even talk to Paul. No. They wouldn't get it. But, they want someone who's a sympathetic But Voha kid. gets it. Yeah. And it was easy. Wow. Weird. The hardest was Giggity. a guy was a guy who talked to me about, about <laughs> you know, I would always I would always greet people and you know, we talked just I had you know, I'd had my my shtick. My my basic Klingon banter that I'd start at the top and I you know and I was, you know, I'd talk about honor as we always do. And uh, the guy looked me and I, he was like, you know, honor, I know honor is important to you guys. I'll tell you about the most honorable person I ever knew was my father. And he died of cancer. And he fought with honor against that disease for as long as he could. And he died a warrior's death. Oh, sheesh. And I was just like, I am sure that he did. <laughs> oh, I man. Am, I am certain he waits for you in Stovacor. Kalis by his side. No you doubt. were like, look, buddy, I'm just a dude. No, <laughs> no, no, no. I of never did. Not. Yeah. Do of you know not. how of long it not. took me to put this makeup I mean, on? I never, I never did that. Even when people threw me on the fucking ground and knocked my head off. I know you know I mean? that. But I, was I know, I know, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. But those kinds of experiences reinforced for me forever the level of importance. Not only Star Trek, role play. Fandom, nerddom. Yeah. The level of importance that this stuff plays in people's lives cannot be overstated. It lets them live their life. That's yeah, I was gonna say that is it lets them be alive. The human like uh mind is so complicated. Oh uh but also in a way that lets forget about the Klingon mind. No, but let's let, let, let's done. Let's, let's ass. <laughs> ass. This person, the person writing in here, is cognizant of the freedom that they have discovered mm-hmm. through like abandoning their sense of self. Well, and sure. that's what I love about this letter too, and it's a thing I loved about the uh, the podcast with Love and Radio was this woman was so articulate and understanding of her own situation and the uniqueness yeah, behind there it. There was no denial, right? She was not lost in the woods about this shit. No, she gets how it's different and how it's. You know her own path and her own journey. Yeah, she like, understands this is what I'm it, but this is what I get out of it. But she's this also at, I started she's it. also at peace with it, yeah. and she owns it, and it's fucking cool. Yeah, and it's empowering. Yeah, but go ahead, finish it up there, Jacob. Uh, let's see. Um, once you establish trust through that medium, it's a lot easier to not be as scared going into it in real life. Mm. Anyway, I just wanted to thank Paul for truly understanding that people who role play online or write slash are not depraved, uh, depraved freaks, and see how important it is for young people or for certain people. Uh, grabs your head and ruthlessly fucks your face while screaming, "Eat my love butter!" Scoop a llama ding dong. Wow. Scoop a llama ding dong. You made my day. Um, and you made I would, mine too, even though I got no credit. I would like to them. admonish Matt for yeah. not truly understanding that people Come who on. role play online or write slash are not depraved freaks. Shut up, you freak. <laughs> that is not what it said. No, that's uh, no, Jacob I'm, said. I'm, I'm Jacob said. Jacob that, said. Yeah. I'm yeah. admonishing Matt for uh, for not understanding that. <laughs> I want to eat just as much butter as Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> you got a lot of catching up to do. No, that's not true. I'm not a big butter guy. <laughs> I'm not. Butter's not my thing. Ketchup is my thing. He's a big butter, baby. I, like I was just referring to the love butter sign off, and I like that you were like, no, wait, let's clear it up here. I like ketchup. Yeah, let's just get yeah. this going. Make me your love eat, ketchup. Eat my love ketchup. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> 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 oh, that's I don't like ketchup, so that's what? even grosser to me. Who are you? I know. I get it. That's the thing. Is Some fatty. <laughs> Whatever, teriyaki nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got some props for teriyaki nuggets. You got a lot of people. Who I did get a lot of people going, yeah. you're so full of shit, Mattingly. <laughs> and they're right. <laughs> I got a lot of props for Crave Jerky. Yes, you did. The yeah. amount of, uh, like, that's the thing. Is like, it's just that you, you name, like, the most <laughs> generic thing as the best. <laughs> yeah. That's what's strange. Like, I didn't mean that it's the gourmet choice. No, I know. I meant it's what I like. Yeah, <laughs> right. No, the other thing is that like that's like me being like I'm a big car guy. Nice. I love cars. I love fine automobiles. 
take the Hyundai Elantra. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I rented me a right. I, I rented me a Corolla the other day. Yep. Yeah. Four syllable. Five. Four cylinder. <laughs> four syllables. Four syllables. Uh, three Corolla. syllables. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's five. A Corolla. <laughs> I love fine automobiles. <laughs> <laughs> the Geo Metro, for instance. Exactly. Exactly. No, I don't purport to be a connoisseur of jerky. No. I just know what I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I and I know what I get at the damn convenience Carl's store. Jerky. I haven't gone to a, a proper a proper jerketeer. <laughs> <laughs> been oh I've been to one and it is not what you're thinking. <laughs> well, that place is supposed to specialize in foot massage. What you want to do is you want to drive you want to drive north on the 15 to get the Spring Mountain exit, yeah. and you head west on Spring Mountain. Head west. There's a lot of jerketeers over there. <laughs> Any sign that you see that's all neon that says foot reflexology, and right underneath it says 24 hours. That's where you want to go. <laughs> <laughs> no appointment needed. Jerketeer. Yeah. <laughs> Certified jerketeer inside. Who will wrestle with your dick until it spurts its goo? Jeez. The whore you pay <laughs> jerk your dick until it spurts its goo. <laughs> jerketeer. Yeah. Jerketeer. <laughs> Forever they will pull your pants down low, 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 yeah. low. Come along, show your dog, and let them do their work. <laughs> They are the kind of tears that you like to jerk. Jerk a tears. Jerk a tear. Jerk a tear. Donald Duck. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we get sued. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, we got one from Lisa. Uh, Lisa. 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 No, just Lisa. Lisa. Oh, okay. Lisa. Hi. Uh, hi, Lisa. Please do me a huge favor. Nope. I need an appointment at my local jerketeer, and I cannot get one. <laughs> and they are booked. They solid. are booked. I'm, it is the, the hardest ma- place in town to get into, <laughs> pun intended. The, the Mater D is a scoop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please do me a huge favor. It is my boyfriend's birthday on July 27th. July 27th. The day that this podcast comes out. He say. turns 15. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> we'll finally be able to have sex in three in years. three states. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Jersey for our honeymoon. <laughs> uh, I won't be there for his birthday as I'll be in Ireland visiting family. Can you please do a shout out for him? His name is Ben and he's a huge fan. Whatever show is broadcast closest to this date would be great. That would be today. Today. Uh, thank you, Lisa. So you want a birthday shout out for Ben? You want us to say happy birthday, Ben? I think that's what she wants. No, guys, absolutely. I not. will not do that, guys. Fuck you know, that guy. we can sing the birthday song now. Oh, that's right. It's it's free. the corporate masters yeah. have loosed the chains. All right. So while your girlfriend is away fucking a bunch of gingers, here's a birthday <laughs> song. <laughs> yeah, when she comes back with Ed Sheeran's crabs. <laughs> when she comes back, with, <laughs> how do these red hairs get here? <laughs> Yappy nerp There you go. I hope you're happy, Lisa. And I hope Ben has a shitty birthday. Welcome to 15. It's all downhill from here. It's not going to get better. No. no. It's Just not. like this show. Oh, to transport it back into a 15-year-old body. That's the true technological leap is when I can take this cranium because I'm telling you the truth. They, they re-quoted it on Twitter for me, and it's the facts. You can't learn enough. You can't learn shit in a human lifetime. You need a couple go-rounds to really get solid on this experience. Uh, time machine, 15-year-old you. Uh, what, what's your advice for 15-year-old you? Oh, boy. One uh, sentence. Uh, uh, five words. Then you turn into dust. <laughs> five words only. If only we had an improv. Buy Apple comedian. stock. <laughs> it's the same thing Penn says, then, and it's right. It's pretty good. Yeah. Matt? Uh, wear a condom. Good. I like it. Cool. Because I didn't. Made of Apple stock. Made a condom of Apple stock. 
<laughs> Any money that you have left over from not buying Apple stock, Where? spend that money on more Apple stock. Forget about condoms. I You'll think, be rich enough to deal with the AIDS. I think I would say, and I'm purposely vague, I think I'd say, she's not worth it. And then I'd leave, right? Oh. oh that's the, probably the most helpful thing. You would fuck thing. up your young self with that kind of... <laughs> Oh, I don't think that fucking at all. Bagery? That would have helped me out a ton because yes. I would think everyone was she. Was oh, she? Yeah, that would have that would have saved me a lot of time. Well, I got it. I, I guess, got it. Yeah, that you would have saved me a lot of time. Change your attitude. That's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure. Oh, that, I'd that's... probably just come back and give myself a switch. Be like, here's the Nintendo Switch. Here's the thing. You're 25 years ahead of the curve. Say, Revel in it. <laughs> Say, just, you are the worst ride, ride traveler in the world. <laughs> ride this fucker. Just ride this no, out. No, you can't tell a soul. Nope. Let me tell you about Zelda. <laughs> you can only play it in handheld mode because the HDMI <laughs> hit hookup won't, won't be around for 20 years. It doesn't exist. Because um, even if you told your 15 year old self to buy Apple stock, what, where, where did where you, you get enough the money? money to do it? Well, you had to come back in time with money. Well, then that's that's a whole different deal. No, you don't get to go back in time. This is Terminator rules. Yeah, you don't get to carry anything back. You're just naked. Oh, boy. this is Terminator time travel rules. If I show up naked, oh, in that to case, my... I say sorry. Don't shoot me. <laughs> if I show up naked to my 15 year old self, I won't have to give him any advice. <laughs> he'll like, know. I got to make different he'll choices. Like, yeah, you'll be like, well. <laughs> We are. Things have gone very, very <laughs> yeah, he'll wrong. Like, he'll be like, I'm moving today. Goodbye. I don't know what happened here, but it wasn't right. I'm out. I'm changing every aspect of my life. Starting with moving. Goodbye. Like, I'm going to like, live on the streets. I show up naked for Tommy just sticks a gun in his mouth. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's going to happen to me. He said it would get better. Uh. Turn around. Let me see your back. MSI. Oh, God. MSI has the best fucking song. It's called It Gets Worse. <laughs> it's so funny. It says it doesn't get better unless you got money. It doesn't get better unless you're pretty. It doesn't get better. It gets worse. It's so fucking funny. Uh, you're you're going to die alone. Listen to <laughs> listen to <laughs> Mindless Self-Indulgence. Go online. Grab Mindless Self-Indulgence. It, get, it gets worse. It's a real hilarious fun punk song it's a real hootin nanny it's, i mean it's a dark message but it cracks me the fuck up and it's just it's, bru- it's brutally honest msi's fucking funny band man funny band uh, it's time for jock versus nerd mark yeah, band ladies and gentlemen it is time time for that next battle in the the nerd. Hi, chaps and chapsesses of the new churn. Whilst on the journey to Vegas, or whilst the journey in Vegas in September comes too soon for a family holiday, kids get uh, easier and cheaper when they get older uh, than uh, when they get older than one. Oh, older than one year old. I get it, right, Matt? Oh, uh, yep. Uh, I do hope to see some fellow UK scoops in London town on Scoop Fest weekend. With that in mind, I thought I'd put together a UK-based scooperty. It's all here. Jokes, nerds, uh, jocks, sexy times, and some famous quotes from across the pond. Hopefully one day the Patreon dollars will get your fuckable faces to our lovely nation. That'd be fantastic. That'd be awesome. Enjoy really the game. Do it. May the yeah. best man win. I assume I th- that I will. I'm going to put this out there because when you put it out there, it happens, right? Okay. I want us to try and push next year for at least one away scoop fest, mini fest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, next year we're doing, yeah, we're definitely doing that. Ne- yeah. As soon as we free ourselves from uh, Fifty Shades. We don't have to we free can, ourselves. We can just we can take some time it. off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we yeah. can. Yeah. We can make it work. All right. Oh, yeah, I we're doing I mean, that. It, I'm not, I can't leave until that show shutters. Yeah. I just, I think I've got to. You're, you're going to ride it. I now. think I'm going to ride it out. Or you get fired. There's always that fired. chance, baby. You get let's, fired. I could. let's not write that off. Oh, it's a very real possibility. I think it's the that's the, that's the way I'm going. I think <laughs> any minute now. <laughs> Actually, Matt, have you checked your emails? Oh, geez, I haven't. I might be fired already. Any yeah. of us could be at any moment. Yeah, fucking you in the face until my yogurt cannon is coughing up dust. That's sweat house Sunday. <laughs> Oh, it's been a while since the sign-up cracked me up. Let's see. We have uh, we have some scooper to hear. And the categories are... Dannon would like to have a talk with you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure about you. <laughs> the Dannon yogurt can. <laughs> <laughs> 
Let me just fix that right now before people complain about it on Twitch. The farting noise. <laughs> yep. <laughs> farting robot. The farting I noise. I had to reset that earlier. The farting noise. Oh, there you go. Oh, we're behind on there, too. Okay. Uh, the categories are Unjock. Or, sorry, UK Jock, UK Nerd, UK Sexy Time, and UK Quotes. Uh, and Paul, it's your turn to go first. All right. I will take uh, UK Sexy Time for 200. Let's see here. This act occurs when a couple visit a car park and enter Pound Town in their vehicle whilst several onlookers take care of their own business. Hmm. A shag and wank? <laughs> Let's see here. It's doggin'. 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 That's a doggin'. So Paul got that one wrong. It's my yeah. turn. I had to take the guess. Yeah, yeah no, I, I like wanna, the guess. I want to know what's... Yeah. Uh, let's That's see. A fine I'll, guess. Doggin. Feel good about it. Doggin means being observed by jack-off people while... You fuck in a car. You fuck somebody in a car. Well, That's unique. It happens enough... That they have a one word. Name. It's one word, mm-hmm. and everyone knows what you're talking about. Yep. That's good. Uh, let's see. It's my turn. I'm going to go UK Jock for 200. This squeaky voice chap married Posh Spice and made a pretty good living kicking those soccer balls around. Oh. Uh, that's David Beckham. Yeah. That sure is. I didn't realize he had a squeaky voice. I didn't either. That's because I just look at his sweet dick. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That I've cock never, was very I've never looked above his belt. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Stern. Uh, I will take uh, uh, UK jock nerd, sexy time, or quotes. Quotes. All right. Or 200, please. Let's see here. You have the right to be offended, but no one has the right not to be offended, was first coined by this person. Paul Mattingly. Paul Mattingly, obviously. <laughs> Every one of these girls me. <laughs> the Paul Mattingly is the answer. The, 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 British, the British quote of Paul Mattingly. Yep. <laughs> who, did we determine who said that? Uh, several times. <laughs> <laughs> who was it? Quite a few times. But we ben. don't remember who it was. Was it Ben? <laughs> no, no, it was, it was uh, Salman Rushdie. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Uh, also known as Paul Mattingly. <laughs> Paul, it's your turn. Uh, You're in third place right now. Could I take quotes for four hundred, please? You sure can. Daily double. You can quote. You can wager up to four hundred. I will wager four hundred. Always the only way to win. Let's see. Success consists of going from failure to failure without loss of enthusiasm. Sound advice from this important historical figure. I've heard this before. I have too. It's a daily double, so you can't pass. Ben, who is Benjamin Franklin? Let's see here. It's Paul Mattingly. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! I just said my. I said it was gonna be. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go with UK quotes for 800. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a woman's ability to stick to a job and get on with it when everyone else walks off and leaves it. Political advice from the from this blast from the past. Uh, I'm gonna guess Paul Mattingly. It is Paul Mattingly. Oh, good. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Matt's turn. I'll take UK quotes for 600. <laughs> Let's see. Are you sure about that? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, it is a cliche that most cliches are true, but then like most cliches, what cliche is untrue? Who said it first? Paul Mattingly. Mm. Uh, that was Paul Mattingly. I okay, swear. good. Well done, Matt. <laughs> Merg. <laughs> Paul did not do well in that category. Oh, no, 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 no. Matt, no. Matt went uh, two, two for two in that category. I went one for one. Paul went Larve. over. Larve. <laughs> uh, Paul, it's your turn. Uh, you have negative 600, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you can go jock nerd or sexy time. I'll go sexy time for 800 to try and get some points on Let's the board. Let's see here. Uh, this other term for a bit of the other was also hit for was also a hit for the band Squeeze. This other term for a bit of the other? Yeah. I don't even know what that means. This other term for a bit of the other, a bit of the others in quotes, okay. yeah. was also a hit for the band Squeeze. S Q U E E Z E. Well, uh, squeeze, I'll have, I'll have to pass. Uh, that's passing to me. I can hear the song in my head, but I can't. Uh, I, can, I can't come up with the name for it. So I'm going to pass the map. I'm also going to pass, guys. Slap and tickle. Slow the old slap and tickle. That's the old slap and tickle. That's the original the name of Paul and, and uh, his uh, duo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The old Matt Manning was squeezing tickle. Slap and tickle. Slap and tickle. Oh, God. <laughs> Can't even get the joke right. I fucked up both the setup and the punchline. <laughs> but you were consistent. Hey, huh? Who loves you? I'm going to go jock for 400. No. In cricket, you score this many runs by driving the ball through mid-on, bouncing before passing the boundary rope. I don't even know what that just said. <laughs> so I'm going to pass the mat. 
Uh, if I understand the question correctly, it's gobbledygook makes stoobly do. In cricket, you score this many runs by driving the ball through mid on, bouncing through the passing boundary rope. Uh, one. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Uh, the answer is four. Oh, four, Matt. I didn't, I didn't had no idea. <laughs> no, I just thought it was really funny. If the answer was one. Yeah. yeah, it would be. I was pretty sure it wasn't one. Uh, Matt, it's your turn. Oh, I'll take sports for 600, please. Let's see here. In this sport, a burned end may occur. In this sport, a burnt end may occur. Yep. Barbecuing. <laughs> the sport of barbecuing. The sport of bar- the sport of kings. It is the sport of kings. Oh, give me some burnt ends. I go for the barbecue. God damn, I need some burnt ends right now. Mm. Uh, croquet. <laughs> croquet. Is that your answer? Yep. Let's see here. Uh, lawn bowls. Oh. Also known as croquet. <laughs> Good. Don't <Both> regret it. <laughs> lawn oh. bowls. Pippi Pippi Long Lawn. L A W N. Lawn bowls? Bowls. Like bowling. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Paul, it's your turn. You can go with Jock for 800, UK Nerd. We have all of them open. And Sexy Time, 400 or 600. UK Nerd 800, please. Let's see here. Lister, Kristen, Cat, and Rimmer climb aboard Starbug in this TV series. What is Red Dwarf? Really? It sure is. Fuck yeah. Really? That's I love Red Dwarf. Did any of those names sound familiar to you, Matt? I thought they were Pac-Man ghosts. I had, God damn I, it. I was like, those, those don't sound vaguely familiar to I've me. I've been watching Red Dwarf since 93. You've been watching Red Dwarf for too long. I fucking love Red Dwarf. That, like... Oh, man. Cold outside, no kind of atmosphere, all alone, more or less. Goldfish are nibbling at my toes. Fun, what fun, the fuck? fun in the sun, sun, I kind of know the song, actually. Fun, you, uh, fun, okay. fun in the but, sun. Uh, I, messed up, I messed up the end. I want to be like shit. Don't go back. It's fine. <laughs> Drinking <laughs> cold. Please it's my turn. Juice. I'm going uh, UK. I fucked, I fucked up the, 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 the song. No one cares. I love it. I love fucking... Fucking great! I love fucking. I love it. I love fucking. <laughs> <In there. laughs> I love fucking. Shook in his chair. I was like, Here's I love fucking. I love fucking. I love Here's the thing. Um, they did so many cool things on that show. They were the first to do a holographic character, and then Voyager ripped that off with the Doctor, and all kind of like first with sci-fi stuff. And it's also a very funny show. Oh, good. It's a, have you never watched? You never watched Red Dwarf? No. Nope. Oh, it's so funny. I'm not against it. I just haven't. It's really I'm funny. Not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not knocking it. Yeah, it's really funny. It's not around. Uh, all right. Are you going to ask me how turn? I have time to watch Red Dwarf? No, like all the stuff. Like, you know all of the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to know. Yeah. Like, I get like having like a niche knowledge of a particular no. show. Have you seen my toy collection? I know. No, I, I have a little it. bit of everything. I, I know. That's, I'm, That's I'm, what I'm, I'm about. Not, uh, I'm, uh, not, uh, again, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not super deep on shit, but I'm. I know enough about every. I just. I'm. In, I'm intrigued by shit. Okay. I, all right then. I'm with you. Like I have a list of shows that people have recommended me. Like mm. I. I know what I want to watch. Oh okay. But I just, just don't act I, on I, it. I, I, I never <laughs> fucking get around to it. <laughs> I make a point I if guess. I really really want to. Yeah. But there's not a whole lot of stuff I. Want to watch that I haven't seen already. Right. <laughs> you and I are That's what it seems like. <laughs> yeah. Different camps there. Yeah. But I don't, right. like, I don't like normal shit. Noted. Wow. <laughs> Yuli dig on the fucking, just goes fucking jocks. Oh, excuse us. <laughs> what? Oh, because we don't get it? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All who's right. up? That's fine. Me. And I'm going to go uh, UK jock for 800. Uh, this chili. This is the chili nickname of the famous darts player Mark Frost. Chili nickname. Uh, let's see. So it's my guess. Uh, I can <laughs> guess it now and kind of. Pull I bet. Way ahead. I bet his nickname is with beans. <laughs> <laughs> Frost with beans. No, no, no. Chili with beans. Chili with beans. <laughs> uh, I'm Frost gonna... with beans. I like Frost, Frost with beans. With beans. <laughs> Jacob's big takeaway is like, I got to get home and watch Frost with Beans. Uh, I'm going to guess Iceman. I'm going Iceman. No I'm way. I'm, my guess is no Frostbite. No way. Oh, no. I'm way off. What is Frosty it? the Throw Man. <laughs> oh, that's a great name. That is For such a, a good name. Oh, yes. Yes. That's a great name. Frosty the Throw Man is awesome. Oh. Iceman is the, just the boring. Iceman is Chuck Liddell. 
Here's the thing. If we were just in a writer's <laughs> meeting and I had to come up with nicknames for Mark Frost. Yeah. And I had Frostbite written down and someone wrote F- F- Frosty, Frosty the Frosty Romance, Oprah, man. I'd be just seething with anger. <laughs> yeah. I'd just oh, be like, God. why, did why I, didn't I come up with that? Why did I write? Even I had like 10 nicknames and none of them were that. I just would have been so mad. Yeah. I would have submitted with beans. <laughs> Frosty with beans, guys. <laughs> With beans lining yeah, up at the line. Just because you shout it doesn't make us understand it anymore. I'll be like, be like well, this next lad, he's got quite the chilly nickname. Was it with, with beans? Was it, was it con carne? <laughs> yeah, it's con carne. Here he comes, con carne. Chili, chili con carne. <laughs> chili, what a nickname. Chili con carne. Well, Here it's he, a ball game again. This next lad, he's really... <laughs> He's got, he no, no, he's changed it to con queso. <laughs> con queso, he's going because he's had a cheesy run, a very cheesy run, a very chilly nickname, a chilly nickname. Oh, no, no, they you call, said you said with beans, and I just shivered. Right, right. No, they call him they call him Skyline, Skyline, chilly nickname, Skyline. It's cold up in the sky. Ah, oh, here he comes, stepping up to the line. It's Hormel. <laughs> Hormel. I was gonna go. I was gonna go wolf. Yeah. Oh God, wolf. <laughs> wolf chili. Wolf chili. Wolf chili is like. It's oh. like that's like I just three hate for myself. a dollar. I know. I was gonna say I'm hungry. I'm hungry, but I hate myself. <laughs> that's exactly what wolf chili is like. I'm in for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I know. No one I have nowhere to be. No other human being is going to see me for two days because the things this, this is going to do to me. <laughs> Coming in and going out, no one should no, see. No, no one no, should see. No, it's a disaster. It's. <laughs> But there are nights when you're like, yeah, Wolf Chili. <laughs> wolf Chili is like, if you like want to like look hard on the road, like someone's going to come. Like you you got to do a practice. So I'm going to eat Wolf Chili up in front of him. Is a Wolf Chili going? Did you bring me lunch? I brought me Wolf Chili. I already, I already oh woofed it down. Do not fuck with Jacob the Audio Guy. <laughs> um, <laughs> wolf Chili, I have no plans. <laughs> Wolf well, chili don't make plans. Yeah, chili, yeah don't make plans. Right. <laughs> one plan for no plans. <laughs> you got, if you got one plan for no plans, it's wolf chili. <laughs> wolf chili, stay in the house. <laughs> Open the windows. Yes, yes, yes to all of it. <laughs> it seems like a good time to introduce our new sponsor, Wolf, Wolf Chili. Chili. Wolf Chili. <laughs> Bring to you sponsors of the last weekend. <laughs> if you love green but uh, hate your toilet and your friends, <laughs> Wolf Chili. Wolf Chili. <laughs> Are we done with uh, Jock versus Nerd? Uh, no, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> it is Matt's turn, and it's uh, UK Nerd or UK Sexy Time. Uh, I'll do uh, Sexy Time, please. All right, let's see here. Uh, 400 <laughs> or 600? Oh, uh, 600, please. Let's see. <laughs> Two chaps, one with a strap on attached to his head, can create this peckish creature. Uh, what is with beans? <laughs> <laughs> The wolf. <laughs> wolf with beans. <laughs> a unicorn. It sounds like a unicorn, right? A hungry unicorn. <laughs> I wish there was a way I could give partial credit. Can I, can I get partial credit for that? Hungry I'm gonna give it, I'm nothing, giving it to you. Nothing in the question. Oh, I guess Does that you're eating you're, you're, you're eating you're eating somebody out. You're eating their butt and they got a thing on their head. Yeah, and you got a you got a unicorn horn on. And then somebody's on f- getting fucked by your unicorn head as well. So like you, you can got a, you got two butts in your face, yeah, or two butts headed your way, or, or you could just be with with a lady. You could have the <laughs> you, uh, you got have two the horn, butts headed your way. You'd have the horn in the vagine and eating the butt, or you could have the or horn, you could flip her. You could be eating a lady, and the horn is at the back of your head yeah. while you eat the lady, and then a guy is sitting on the back of your head. That's oh, true, all right? Or Guys, you could there's be, no shortage of unicorns. <laughs> or you could the hungry unicorn, unicorn is on got, the front. And you could be eating the lady in the vagine with the horn in the anus. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> Not with it on your head. Sure. Get it. Get it. Kind of low on your head there. Get it. Kind of like the like well, the, then what, but then, but like the, the bill of a hat. But then you're <laughs> then you're sixty nining with her. 
No, no, no. No, no, no. You got the mouth on the vagine. Yeah. So, like, and here's then, the vagine. And then, blah, 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 blah. But then the, and then the horn is right here. I can't believe you just gave away your blah, technique. Blah, 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 but it's in the butthole. <laughs> but if the horn is in the butthole, it's coming down around your face like this, like a, a drink straw yeah, in a beer coming, hat. It's coming low. It's that's coming not, low. No, that's not working. It's a flexi horn. You're going to end up with that in your mouth. You're going to end up with a broken nose. <laughs> 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 It'll be the best thing that's ever happened to her, but you got a broken nose, my friend. <laughs> How could you possibly eat somebody's it's pussy gonna, it's gonna while, end up with, while you're fucking them with a dildo on your hand? It's Unless end up you're with tears. upside down. If you're upside down, it's easy. It's going to end up with tears from somebody. <laughs> Someone's crying. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, by pa- the way, jerk of pa- tears. Paul just said two butts <laughs> heading your way, and I like I love that to be a fortune cookie, right? Where you open <laughs> two butts are headed your two way. Two butts heading your way. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I'd be like, whoa. Well, that means I have options. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, it's your turn. UK nerd or UK sexy time? UK nerd for as many points as possible. You get it for six hundred. This pub is suggested as a potential safe haven in Shaun of the Dead. Oh, oh, the uh. Uh, Matt has a guess. <laughs> Do you know it? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know it. Uh, it passes to me. I know that, yeah. Uh, all right, Matt, what is it? The Winchester. That's oh, it. that's it. I was yep. going to say it's a gun, but I couldn't remember what kind. Yep. Shit. Oh, shit. I just put Paul got it right. God damn it. Uh, Yay, I win. Yeah, so, Paul, <laughs> so Paul has 600 points less than he has, and Matt has 600 more points than he has. Uh, it's my turn. I'm going uh, Wait, UK no. nerd for 400. <laughs> Mistakes count. Oh. <laughs> U.S. thrash metal band Anthrax penned the song about this popular U.K. comic book Enforcer. It is how I won yesterday. <laughs> was that we just said the scoreboard counts? That's right. true. That is true. <laughs> I guess we did make that rule yesterday. Yeah. Didn't we? So live by the sword, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. UK thrash metal band Anthrax <laughs> pinned a song about this popular mighty, UK comic book enforcer. Mighty, mighty scoop on the chat board. Unicorn him, Jacob. Unicorn him. <laughs> <laughs> Hungry unicorn him. Hungry unicorn him, Jacob. <laughs> I don't know. I'm passing the map. What is this? Uh, thrash metal band Anthrax pinned a song about this popular UK comic book enforcer. Um, what is uh, uh, Tea Timer? Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. Can, right. I, can I steal? Pass. It's your turn, Paul. Oh, he passed. Okay, it's uh, who is Judge Dredd? It is Judge Dredd. Well done. Oh, I clicked that I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait a minute. Matt's turn. There's, there's mistakes and there's mistakes. <laughs> Live by the Live sword. By the sword. <laughs> Live by the sword. <laughs> Live by the sword before you come in with that sword. <laughs> I'd like to live by that sword, not die by the yeah. sword. Uh, Matt Stern, you want sexy time or nerd? Yes. Okay, oh, you're getting sexy boy. time for 400. Okay. Uh, two or more gentlemen may visit a public bathroom to engage in this charming and sexy pursuit. Uh, bathroom hand job, but uh, this has got to be a UK term for it, right? Sure. Uh, jibble wobbin. I believe it's a jibble wobbin. Urinal quake. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, that is not it. Um, it is a... Uh, uh, Oh, don't look at your screen now. Flesh the toilet. <laughs> flesh the toilet. Yeah. What's flesh it, the toilet. What's it called? Uh, flesh the loo. It's, it's UK, remember? <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. That's, it's, right. it's a cottaging. Cottaging, which yeah, is? Cottaging. That makes no sense. Uh, it's two or more gentlemen visiting a public bathroom to engage in this charming and sexy pursuit. What is it? Cottaging. Which is? Two gentlemen oh, uh, visiting no. a public bathroom engaging in this charming but sexy pursuit. Let me look shit up. What do you mean? What is cottaging? That's what it, what is, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. <laughs> <laughs> and Paul, UK nerd for 200 coming your way. Doctor Who will almost certainly use this tool on her new adventures. What is a sonic screwdriver? It is a sonic screwdriver. Jacob got that right. And Jacob wins. <laughs> oh, man. Live by the sword. Live by the sword. <laughs> Game over. Paul wins Bullshit. with 1,200. Jacob has 400. Matt has zero. Actually, uh, Paul has 600. Jacob has 400. And Matt has... 600. 600. Cats game. Okay. Jacob wins. It's just gay sex somewhere other than your home. Great. Oh, well, that's different. Glad we got to the bottom to of anonymous, that. Anonymous, se- anonymous sex yeah. between men in a public lavatory, a cottage, or a tea room, or cruising for sexual partners with the intention of having sex elsewhere. All right. That's all, right. all I wanted to know. I wanted to know if maybe you had to, like... Put a roof on your butthole or something to make it like oh, it's, a, it's a cottage. Cottaging. You or gotta, there was cheese involved. You have to leave a uh, cottage cheesing. Have you gone Airbnb? You have to leave uh, an ankle lock 
uh, <laughs> combos where the key is in your ankle, oh. the key is in an ankle lock, and then you get that free, and you shove it up your butt. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Oh, no. What happened? <laughs> oh, I just found the official slogan for Wolf Brand Chili. No, what is it? <laughs> Neighbor, how long has it been since you had a big, thick, steaming bowl of Wolf Brand Chili? <laughs> well, that's too long. <laughs> Slogan's too long. Uh, <laughs> that is a long slogan. <laughs> that is a really Jeez. long slogan. And the other thing is, if you eat wolf Guys, chili, uh, we want to sell. If you eat wolf chili often, you have no neighbors. <laughs> None that respect you anymore. Anyway, how long has it been? Let's see. I've been allowed to live here since '88, so it's '87. <laughs> Nobody's bothered me. <laughs> I'm still. I'm still. People still talk to me, look me in the eyes. So it's been. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, my butthole's still mostly intact, so been a while. Been a while. I, guys, I, I, I was afraid if I had one more bowl, it'd shake my butthole loose. Guys, we've, we've, uh, we really need to spice up the sales of Wolf Chili. We've hired Hemingway to write the next slogan. <laughs> the thing about your chili is it's thick. <laughs> Thick bowl. I don't think they have to say yeah. thick in there. Thick yeah, it's like the slogan was long, but they were like, well, where's the thick? Long and thick. I'm looking at the whiteboard, and we had the word thick uh, circled twice, which yeah. means three people thought it was in green. Been, yeah. 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 <laughs> the, whole, the whole where's of the thickness. The whole of, of Wolf Chili's uh, CEO table <laughs> is women. I want long and thick. I want long and thick. Why, why choose one? Why is it? Why is it, You know, it's been a long time. I want it thick. Like, I need long and long thick. Long and thick. There. And, uh, <laughs> I just love at the end. Well, that's too long. <laughs> that's too long. Wait, I love it, their slogan as a question and answer. It's yeah. true. It is too long. I prefer more of a beer can. Guys, what if it's? <laughs> what if we just say, "Hey, it's been too long since you've had." Well, what if it hasn't been? What if they had it yesterday? I don't discourage people who's had it yesterday. Let's have it. Let's let's do our slogan like neighbors talking. <laughs> can we? Can we? I want the words quite frankly in there. Can we put quite frankly? <laughs> no, too quite long. Frankly, it's been too long. Too long. Quite frankly, it's been too long. <laughs> Uh, now I would like the words honestly, madam. Honestly, madam. Honestly. <laughs> Who doggy has it been too long? Can we get that in there? And we can't have the word doggy and chili in the same. Pray <laughs> tell, neighbor. Just how long has food. it been since you had thick oh, dog food? People I already mean, think it's dog food. Yeah, because they see the wolf on it and like, that's for dogs. That's for either wolves or dogs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Human be the third person I thought should be consuming that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf brand right. chili. Well, I want to thank the, the long, favorite of dogs. I want to thank the long and thick <laughs> pendulette for creating this podcast. Um, what should we do? Should we do wolf chili slogans for our thing? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Sean, do you want to see more thick chili up in your goddamn ball? <laughs> uh, the not so famous Paul. It's been too long and thick since you've had wolf brand chili right up your butt. <laughs> Sean, holy schmidt, I could use some thick-ass chili right now. <laughs> Pete Romano, I'm going to lay a slice of, of brie on top of this wolf chili and pretend it's something fancy. Shayla, do you have the bullocks to eat a big fucking sloppy bowl of chili? Peter Hines, I'm going to add guacamole to this chili and pretend I'm south of the border. Uh, Stacy, go west, young lady, and get Erlin, get get up nice and Erlin for some fucking disgusting chili. Pete McDougal, can you it's tell awful. the difference between wolf chili and Alpo? <laughs> Steven, step inside a peat booth and take a look at me fucking this bowl of chili. Peter Sanzone, is this diarrhea or a bowl of chili? <laughs> Stuart, <laughs> I'm the king of dog food Cooked up and called chili. Rachel George, trick question. It's diarrhea of our chili. <laughs> Ice cream, scoop me up a nice round mound of chili town. <laughs> Randy B. Evans, how about some chili on your spaghetti? Now that's Cincinnati style. <laughs> <laughs> Todd Peter's son, when was the last time you had some chili? Well, fuck my goggles. That's too long. <laughs> Randy B. Evans. When was the last time you had some chili? Well, I'll be the shit. That's too long. <laughs> Gaspacho, oh no. Never serve wolf chili at room temperature. Scoop. <laughs> Gaspacho, no. Gaspacho, no. <laughs> Rebecca Gardner, how long has it been since you had chili? Well, no surprise with your, your kind manner and... and <laughs> Pleasant smell. 
Tony Banks, why haven't seen you in the pig seats? Speaking of pigs, how about some pork chili up in that mouth of yours? <laughs> hey, Rich, do you like chili? You won't after you try wolf. Tony Cowley, when was the last time you had some wolf chili? Well, fuck a duck. That's simply too long. <laughs> Richard Fastnot, do tell, good sir. <laughs> When was the last time thou supped upon chili? <laughs> Hark, Travis Blaney, I spot thee yonder. Belly full of chili? Nigh? Ha! Ah, Hars forsooth. <laughs> Here's some chili. How Loopy, long do you want to go with that? Loopy Scoop, what wonderment doth I behold? Yea, tis a bowl full of meat and sauce <laughs> and beans. You didn't do the quotes when you said meat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, Turn, it's, it's wolf. Turn the page of the cookbook to the next page. It says, just go to the supermarket and get wolf chili. Scoop Nurse, I've got the cure for you, and it's, sco- it's wolf chili. Wally Walters, fancy a chilling, mate. <laughs> Scott Ashlock, how about some cottage chili in the bathroom with me? <laughs> let's make some cottage chili. <laughs> Wendy Loomis, let's do some pre-dogging with some chili consumption. Scott Burrell, would you put some chili on that dildo on your head and hungry unicorn me? <laughs> William L. Gandalf, when was the last time you've got some chili up in your goddamn gullet? <laughs> what the fucking fuck? You gotta be shitting in my mouth. Speaking of which, check out some wolf chili. <laughs> Sean Dottery, would you like some chili and chips? Or maybe you'd prefer glass and Windex. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like to thank Nick Bardhart, Nick Farr, Nicole Angelopoulos, Nicole Busenbark, Nima Serafazerva, Oliver Banta, Patrick Webb, National Taint Donor Registry, Pesci, Phil Cassidy, Philip Chalop, Rachel Teplitsky, Rasmus Nielsen, Richard Bruins, Richard Hill, Rob Tones, Robert O. Fisher, Robert Paulson, uh, Scufilia. Yeah, sure. Robots Ahoy, Colin Blowband, Rose Ford, Ryan, Ryan Pugh, Grier Appledoin, Sam Corn, Sam Reed, Scott Glinner, Scott Muldrick, Scott Pinyard, Sean Sullivan, Sean, uh, Sean Mountcastle, Cindy Morris, Stephen Braun, Full Cream Scoop, Stephen D. Mills, Stephen L. Proctor, Stephen Landon, Turn the Page, Stephen Scott Sundog, Tamora Hamilton, Tapio Hansen, Ted Pierce, Thomas Townley, Timothy Ferguson, Tina Smith, Tobias Zarles, Tyler Minnick, Vice President Joe Biden, Jeffrey Hess has Sweaty, moist ice cream balls. Walt Preston, Wendy Cooper, Wendy Bumgarner, White Chocolate Scoop, and William Jennings. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys so much. Hey, get thanked on air just like these fellas. Huh? When was the last time you had some chili? Go to hayscoops.com slash Patreon and hear the cries of the wolf. <laughs> uh, by the wolf way, chili, if you're listening. I heard you. <laughs> we'll, we'll take you on. <laughs> I mean, we, we're looking for sponsors. If, if we just haven't sold you a couple of cans, I don't know who has. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we've come up with the best ad campaign for Wolf Chili. The the one can guaranteed to send you to the can. Guys, we listen to your podcast. Your slogans are way too short. <laughs> well, neighbor, here's a chance for you to have chili. Ding dong. Oh, hey, is that you, my neighbor? It Haven't sure seen is. In a while. I've been away eating chili. <laughs> what kind of chili? The best kind. Oh, I like good chili. Well, you'd like the best kind. It better not be thin and, and stubby. You'll be happy to know it's thick and hearty. <laughs> Say, have you had wolf chili? No. Oh, wolf chili, you say? I say wolf chili. Well, come on in. I just made some lemonade. Oh, nothing goes better with wolf chili than lemonade and Fritos. <laughs> uh, that ugly bitch. Okay, so um, Peggy Hill is mentioned on the wolf chili Wikipedia page as uh, mentioning her Frito pie with wolf brand chili. Well, see, oh, that's what I said. Fritos. That's what she would always talk about. Yeah. Frito pie is the, is Frito the, pie is the shit. Frito pie is the Fritos do oh, go so good with, chi- with wolf chili. Uh, Fritos I know. are good in guacamole we, as see, well. We la- Jacob and I laugh because we've had yeah. wolf chili days. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh sure. <laughs> <laughs> the back yes. of the can talks about the Frito pie. Yes. The recipe is on there. And so is Mark Frost. <laughs> um, con carne. <laughs> Mark con carne Frost stepping up to the line. Uh, I want to thank all the people uh, watching us on Twitch and all the subscribers there. All the people who subscribe uh, to us on all your podcast apps. Thank you so much. Awesome. Uh, Scoop Fest is coming up September 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. Uh, we got about 200 people coming. That'll be good. Make it 201. Come yeah. on out here. 
Make it a bunch more. Yeah, make it a bunch more. Go but we, nuts. we got the space for it, but we're going to have a lot. Of, we're well, gonna, we're going to advertise a little bit locally, too. Yeah, it's going to bring in at least one. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to advertise on Facebook and other things, too. It's one thing Las Vegans do is respond to local advertising. Oh, boy. I don't either. It's true. <laughs> I don't do anything that goes on in this Life town. is beautiful. No, thanks. Yeah. Oh, gross. Um, I've been. Yeah. But uh, so uh, coming out here, coming to Vegas, we're at the space. You can see the Penn Sunday School do two episodes live, uh, Love and Radio, Night Attack, Player One Podcast, Emotional Hangs. You also see some great variety shows, comedy shows, karaoke, uh, game rooms, food trucks, uh, general hootenanny. The, get, the getting to know you uh, stickers is really, I'm really excited. Ask me about blank yeah. social mixer. It's going to mm-hmm. be r- really fun. And if you uh, just like merch, the best deal you can get is the Scoop Bags to go. Go to heyscoops.com slash shop and check it out. If you can't come to Scoop Fest, you can get the uh, Scoop Fest t-shirt, um, the hat, uh, the new hat looks really nice. New hat's awesome. The uh, the mystery items. Mystery it also comes items. in a fancy bag. If you're on Twitch, you can see it right over my shoulder. My yep. f- fancy Twitch fancy ass bag. bag. Actually, they can't. Your um, microphone's in the way. Oh fuck me! In yeah, the, it's too bad. This no, way. pull it down a little bit. This way. There you go. Now yeah. you can see it right the there. Check out that. that Look at that. that hot bag. Swag bag. Check out that hot bag, yo. Hot swag bag. Uh, also, uh, oh, next week down. or th- uh, this week. Oh, Thursday the. 27th. This doesn't help at all. No. Yeah. Thursday the 27th. Today is a Bucket Show. Yes. This yeah. doesn't help at all. Yeah, this doesn't help at I all. I guess no, if you listen to the first thing in the morning. That's true. We had to move it to Thursday this week because of my... Uh, my Your my, breakneck schedule. My breakneck That's schedule. That's right. Um, anyways, guys, I love you all sexually. It's awesome. Like, <clears throat> seriously, especially you. You know who I'm talking about. You. With it the feels earbuds. so nice and cool in here. That air conditioner is badass. Yes. Like, as much as I'm tired, even like yesterday, I wasn't as tired leaving the studio because we didn't get depleted of all of our bodily fluids. <laughs> I'm loving being in the new churn. Yeah, the oh, new churn yeah. is hot. I was like, uh, I was like, like high as a kite. I was like, woohoo! Mm-hmm. It feels exciting. It's an easier drive. For all of us, except for Jacob. Except for Jacob. Cause, yeah. Because he didn't drive. Well, well technically, it's a, that's a zero comparison, right? Because you didn't drive to your own house. That's right. Mm-hmm. So you can't actually say it was an easier drive. Although, because I go straight from here to, uh, to, to work. Oh, yeah. So it's really not bad for me at all. There you all go. Right. There you go. I'm proud to call you my bitch. Thank you, Paul. You're welcome. All right. Wolf yes. Chili. Proud See you to next call week, you my bitch. Blah, hey, blah. if you're still listening, watching us on Twitch, uh, how you doing? Thank you, guys. Thank you, uh, Unidig, Cargo Van Kila, uh, the Gog, the Gog Magog, Mighty Scoop. Uh, who else we got on here? Frozen 49th Scoop, Froyog Soft Serve, One of the Wills, Scoop Jessica, Doc Scoop 506. Hi, everybody. <laughs> One of the Wills, I said that already. Scoop a Nova Girl. Thank you so much. You put in quite a day, Scoop a Nova Girl. Oh, wow. You're She's still around? Our, 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 all of our bucket stuff. Thank Scoop you, Joey, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you for staying. Paul Gruner, thank you. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. T Dizzle 2012. That's <laughs> just fun to say. I hope you come back. Um, what else? Who else we got here? The Gog Magog. I said that already. Didn't send t- it's Colin Blowband. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for joining us. Corey, who's a woman, thank you. Uh, She's right. a lady. She's a lady. Pistachio Pete Scoop. Thank you so much. Uh, all right. Cool. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. One last question for Paul before we sign off. Ask him anything. Go ahead. You can ask Paul anything, and he'll have to tell you the truth. Those are the rules that I invented right now. <laughs> Just now. Just now. That's the rules of ask me anything, right? Um. Yeah. <clears throat> Imperial Scoop. Hi, how's it going? I guess I missed you. Sorry, now you're typing. How dare you? Sorry, I missed you. Um, all right. Oh, people love your backpack, Paul. All right, here's the question from one of the wills. Paul, you have to answer. Yes. Pickles? Yeah, I like pickles. Uh, he was in Snakes and Barrels. He's, uh, <laughs> hey, Paul, microphone. My fourth. My microphone, Paul. He was probably my there you fourth go. favorite member of Death Clock. Someone asked for a churn tour. I mean, there's nothing really to tour. Mm. Now you're seeing pretty much everything. Yeah. Just pick Honestly, up the yeah. camera and sh- oh, no, here, move here it around. 
So there's the uh, there's the wide uh, the wide shot with uh, with Matt and Paul there. You can see okay. some, some some shelves and everything. So over here, I got the bucket for the bucket show. I got the scoop bag. I got a, my New York Giants flask that a listener sent me. I have the cards against ICS uh, humanity deck that Graham made. Yep. I have the desktop ski ball box here. I have the bucket show uh, buzz ding briefcase, and uh, Michael Elsroth gave me Wayne Newton with googly eyes. And I have the from uh, 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 Erica. I have the "fuck you in the face" painting up there. Mm -hmm. To the left, I guess you can't see over there, but the the, the scoop whose name escapes me, and I hate this because they crocheted yeah. our scoop heads, which just looks fucking amazing. It's on this wall over here. Paul, I've got, <clears throat> as you can see, Ellsroth just brought me these ridiculous Klingon glasses. We got Pigasi. I just bought this ice cream scoops. Cocoa Puffs doesn't taste that good. Wouldn't recommend <laughs> it if you're going for taste. I just bought it for the box. Uh, me is the That's what I buy guy. everything for. Jacob is Modoc chair. And then, of course, days without consuming a vegetable Paul Mattingly chart <laughs> to helpfully remind me. Infinity days. And uh, behind us, obviously, are the three posters for the scoopening. These are actually printed on aluminum and uh, aluminum. Aluminium. Uh, but these are uh, ace uh, designed, and uh, they kick total fucking ass. Mm -hmm. So much so that we're all jealous of each other's. We've all expressed jealousy of each other's posters. Yep. But, uh, yeah. They're all cool in their own unique way. All right. Um, all right, we should, let the, we should get out of here so Jake can go to work. Get yeah. The fuck out of here. All right. See you next time, Scoops. See you guys. I Bye, love guys. you. Bye, guys. Have all a right. good night. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Kisses. Bye.